Hi, I'm Bill Shoke, and I'm the custodian of two cats, um, both of which are about eight years old. And um, I went through a breakup with my longtime partner about uh, two years ago. And during that period, um, having the continuity of the cats in my life was something that was very important to me. Um, finding myself suddenly single after um, being in a family relationship for 14 years was something that was quite a shock to me. And um, really, um, without sounding cliche, really sort of turned my world upside down. And um, the cats were a very important part of um, uh, a sense of continuity that I needed at that time. Um, of course, they provided companionship uh, which is something that I've always enjoyed with them. But during a period of time of going through a breakup when I was particularly feeling uh, very much alone and not really knowing where to turn, um, having my cats as, as my companions were uh, something that was very important to me and something that was very consoling. Um, and as a result, was something that I was very interested in maintaining in my new life. It was very shortly after um, my ex-partner and myself agreed that we were going to separate. Um, we started talking about what the impact of that was going to be. Um, we initially started talking about living arrangements and the property that we own together, um, but the conversation very quickly turned to our pets, turned to our cats. And there were a couple basic components of that discussion that were really critical. Um, the first, which we were able to quickly come to an agreement on, was that because we had two cats that had been together since they were both 12 weeks old, it was both very important to both of us that the cats remain together. Um, they really are sisters to one another. And I personally feel that um, they would be lost should, should one go away, the other would be lost in, in both situations. Um, the second thing we agreed was that because the cats um, are, of course, indoor creatures and um, are not comfortable or very frequently taken out of our home, that it was important that they remain in the house where they had grown up. Um, and as a result of the arrangement, the living arrangement that we had already agreed and the fact that I was going to continue staying in the house that we had lived in for a number of years, that the cats would stay with me. And um, overall, I think that was the right arrangement for the cats. Um, and in, in the course of our conversation, one of the concessions uh, that I made in our discussion was that um, my partner could continue to have visitation rights with the cats, um, really with very little parameters, very, very few parameters put around that. With the exception of, I asked for some advance notice um, so that we could coordinate schedules. And for over a year, that visitation schedule um, consisted of almost weekly visits, um, where um, my ex would come to, which was now my house, um, and spend about 30 minutes with the cats. Um, there was very little interaction between me and my ex. Um, he spent the time entirely with the cats, playing, brushing, um, and at the end of that 30 minutes would leave. Uh, about 15 months after our breakup, um, I raised the issue uh, regarding the frequency of the visits. After a short discussion, we agreed again that uh, the visits would continue, but they would be uh, continue with less frequency than they had for the first 15 months uh, of our breakup. And since that time, the visits are starting to become less frequent. And I would say the last visit was probably a month uh, from the prior visit to that. So it's something that is working well now for both of us. Um, I do understand the importance of our cats to my ex-partner which is one of the reasons why I, I agreed to that concession. But I also know that um, they very much appreciate him as well. So it was something that, although it's not comfortable for me, and it's probably not so comfortable for him either, um, I think it's something important to everyone involved 
Um, so it is something that's continuing, and at this point, I suspect will probably continue for for a while yet to come. One of the realities in going through a separation um, or a divorce um, or any other type of breakup is that there is a lot of emotion involved. And I think it's quite natural for an individual to think about what's best for themselves and to go in self-protection mode um, because suddenly things are very different than we're accustomed to. I think it's very important though to force oneself to think about the best interest of the pet as well. Um, and in some cases the best interest of the pet may not be the same as the best interest of the individual, but I think that we need to um, think of think of them as equal parties to this, much as um, parents take that same type of consideration as they look at um, children of a relationship and they look at uh, where it's best for the children to be living uh, in the future.